Want to know how to cut to the front of the line at IA firms? Check out The Property Path. The Property Path is a 90-day mentorship program that I developed with Chris Stanley from the Independent Adjuster Podcast. It's a combination of self-paced training, live training and mentoring from me and Chris and other experienced adjusters, and homework that's all done online, all designed to help you focus on the things that you need to know to get started as an independent adjuster without the confusion and expensive dead ends. So what does this get you? Consider it a personal introduction by me, Matthew Allen, to a growing list of independent adjusting firms. But before I can give you that introduction, you have to pass our certification process, a process that's been vetted and approved by a select list of top IA firms. Enrolling does not give you an automatic free ticket to the front of the line. Check it out at adjustertv.com slash path now. Just like in property claims, you need some basic tools and gear to handle auto claims as an appraiser. In this video, Chris Stanley is going to show you the features and benefits of two of the most popular gadgets for auto appraisers, the Keyson pocket rod and the dent stick. Starting now. This is Adjuster TV. Hey, it's Matt here. And for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as an independent adjuster, subscribe now. Click on the bell notification so that you never miss a video. And starting next Tuesday, Adjuster TV will be bringing you a show all about being an auto appraiser, including tips, tricks, gear reviews, tools, software walkthroughs, and so much more. All right, let's jump in. Here's Chris. Hey, I am here to talk to you today about measurement photos and not really about how to take measurement photos, but what the best measuring tape is for taking photos. And shocker, it's not a measuring tape. There's actually another product called Dent Stick and another one called the Keyson Pocket Rod that are very desirable in the independent adjusting and auto damage appraising industry. So these two products are both fantastic products, but I'm gonna show you exactly how to use each one and then tell you my thoughts on what I would use and will continue to use and tell my students to use moving forward. All right, so first up, we got the Keyson Pocket Rod. This has been the long time king of measuring tapes for auto damage. Some IA firms actually require that you use it. The reason why this one is so cool is a few reasons. One, it's got some really big print on it. Makes it good to show up in photos. And the other one, another reason this is so useful is that it actually completely pulls out of the holder. And you can kind of lean it up like this and hopefully get it to stay if it's not too windy. And then you can step back and take your measurement photo. Now let's do it the way we gotta do it if it's windy though. Cause I can tell you nine times out of 10, I can't get that thing to stay from where I'm from. So I'm gonna have to have my phone ready and then do the normal step back and try to Take a photo of the damage. As far as measuring tapes go, I enjoy this measuring tape and I've used it for years. This one's actually brand new though, but that's the Keyson pocket rod. Now let's take a look at the dent stick. Now the dent stick is fairly new in comparison to the Keyson pocket rod. Um, it has a light magnet on the back that when you stand it up, it grabs onto the car very gently. I'll show you a cool feature about it here in a minute uh, in addition to that magnet. But I like that it's sturdy, it's easy to set up, and it's just that light magnet. I'm always scared of magnets in cars, but this one is so light it works. Okay, so now I've got it set up. And the big thing about measurement photos, as hopefully you know, you have to show the insurance company that is actually on the ground and where the damage is on the measuring tape, or in this case, the dent stick. So the dent stick is a little bit heavier than the Keyson pocket rod, so that's a con of it. Uh, but a pro of it is even in windy situations, this is gonna hold and you're not gonna have to hold on to it. But let me show you like when we go to a hood, 
It's got a foldable magnet that helps stabilize it even if it's not at a high place so it'll hold itself in place so you can step back and take a picture. So here's the question. Keeson pocket rod or the dent stick? In reality, you're probably gonna need both at some point. Why? Because this is a magnet base and it'll work even if it's not magnetized in a lot of situations, just because of the weight and leaning against it. But a lot of vehicles are becoming aluminum. So if it's an aluminum panel, you're gonna have to rely that it's gonna lean against it. But I have more faith that I can get this to lean against something than I do the Keeson pocket rod when I pull it out. The Keeson pocket rod is also recommended by some IA firms and even required by a few of them. So what's my judgment call? To me, the king of auto damage measuring is the dent stick. It is so much easier to use. It is a little bit bigger, but for me, I hate doing the ballerina act to take the measurement photos and IA firms and insurance companies want a straight on shot to prove where that damage was at and the dent stick makes doing that easy. Did you know that working as an independent auto appraiser is a great way to get into a career in claims? For more information, I really encourage you to check out Chris Stanley's independent adjuster podcast at iapath.com slash podcasts. There's a new podcast every week about all things IA. And for much more information about crushing it as an independent adjuster, head on over to adjustertv.com. And if you got value from this video, you can help me create more videos just like this by subscribing to Adjuster TV on YouTube. Wondering what to watch next? There are tons more great videos just like this on the Adjuster TV YouTube channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.